Hello everybody, my name is Dragon Tooth, and welcome back to our survival let's play. We are on episode 25 today, which is absolutely fantastic, and I've been waiting for it for a long time. So today is going to be our first world tour, and just before we get going with that, I've got something to show you guys real quick. If you hit F3 and you see about two-thirds of the way down on the left-hand side, it says day 1189. So I've been playing on this world for like over a thousand in-game days, which I think is pretty cool. But anyway, guys, let's get going. So what my plan is, is I'm just going to show you guys everything that I've built in first person and then I'm going to make a third person time lapse uh, which is going to be a separate video but anyway guys you will notice something about these leaves I have got F whips texture pack on so I just want to see what it's like because I really really like it but you guys let me know what you think in the comments and I'll also put a poll on screen I just I'd like I like this texture pack and so here's the thing I'm pre-recording these so this will come out like um, in about a month's time for me so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep recording videos with the texture pack on and then as soon as you get I get your feedback either I'll keep using the texture pack or I'll stop using it but anyway let me know and another thing is of course if you're well just please leave this video a like a like and if you're new subscribe I'd appreciate that but I made two little tweaks to the texture pack one of them is that I changed like gray stained glass and one of them is that I changed the texture of nether brick um, back to what it was originally but anyway enough rambling on let us head up to where this world all began okay so this beautiful ridge line is actually our spawn and I believe we spawned in like around here I'm not exactly sure but I have transformed this majorly and it is now our little bee nature park but this is where it all started and then if we head down here and don't die this is actually our starter house now I've changed this majorly so it was originally oak and um, but anyway I like it like this and actually I feel like if I do this in chronological order it's going to get painful so I'll just travel around and show you the stuff I've done so yeah back here where we started is my storage area it isn't a automatic sorting system or anything but it has all of our stuff in it and 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 you know lots of diamonds which is beautiful um but in here this house is actually the only house that I did any interior decoration in and I might do interior decoration on the other ones I'm not sure but I really like this place it looks nice inside and out so traveling on we have got um, these two houses here you know just nice in the exterior um, you know nether brick roof brick roof and I really like the, how this turned out and I also really like these cross dangly things and then here we've got another house um, and uh, up here we've got a few more houses but I'll go up there in a bit and over here yet another house this is really amusing isn't it uh, and then we've got some more houses over here I quite like this little enclosed area and then if we head down here some more houses more houses more houses and we've got ourselves a little blacksmith house down the end here and then over here we've kind of got the waterfront and if we have a 
look at our city from the front, then I reckon it looks pretty nice. And then just just um fly. And it also looks very nice from the air in my opinion. But anyway, let's get back down here. Oh my gosh, I'm uh, this is this is so terrible. Right. So up here we have got a street and there's kind of this farming area oh my gosh it looks so beautiful with too high wheat and then we've got this mega tree but I'll get back to that um, and we've got this kind of wall up here and all these beautiful wheat fields and then going back onto the park up here and some beautiful custom trees things I don't know what kind of trees they are and then coming up around here the road goes on and we have got ourselves our bee greenhouse thing which is looking beautiful and if we head inside here the aluminiums look marvelous and yeah I quite like this I took a bit of inspiration from in here from Germs Boy on the Legacy SMP so should check him out oh and of course check out if that's kind of you know i'm going to take a lot of inspiration from him in the future not to mention using this texture pack but over here the track kind of just pewters out and up here we've got some beautiful custom trees and a kind of big red crystal now originally this was multiple different colors but i've changed it just to red because it looked kind of weird with crisscrosses and all sorts of stuff all over the place, but I still like it red. And then we've got these kind of pillars holding it up. And we in fact have a second one of bows just over here. Except that this one is blue. Um, okay, um, yeah, right. But yeah, we have another blue crystal over here, and then over there we've just got a ridge that I kind of decorated. So I really like the landscaping, because with the normal Minecraft texture pack, it looked kind of weird. But with the leaves and everything, I reckon it just look makes it look so much more nice. But anyway, let's get back down to ground level oh, and of course we've got this lovely fountain that I just landed in uh, wait that's the wrong direction okay so um, where am I going this way right down here this is our first strip mine and also where I made the first XP farm now I haven't really decorated the strip mine much I could but you know it's a strip mine I don't know, I could decorate it, but that goes about 300 blocks in that direction because I've been mining frantically to try and find diamonds. But over here we have got our zombie XP farm, which we made in like the first, uh, no, no, like the third episode or so. And we actually got a full diamond armored zombie from this. And we had an enchanting table over here, but I moved it and never got around to replacing it. But anyway, as you can see, those guys just get caught in the water stream and shot up and dropped down. Fairly simple design. But that served us well for XP and rotten flesh and all that stuff. And we got this cleric over here, which we can trade with, but he's got pretty bad trades. Anyway, now following the street along here, We've kind of got this little waterfall coming down from that tree. We've got another house here. And over here we have got a few more houses. And actually the map wall for the entire world. So we are currently up there at Darkwood. And the kind of place I want to do some stuff next is this area around here. So yeah, that will be our projects in the future and I might even want like I'll, I'll talk about that maybe next episode but I have some big big plans but anyway that's our map wall 
and it's night time with just you know sleep right um there we go <coughs> but oh my gosh did that map will take such a long time to fill in i swear um those 1000 days probably 1000 out of 1200 would have been spent doing projects and only a couple days afk and then traveling back over here we've got another one of those beautiful banner things and a, another house and over here we've got um some horseless stables and then out here we've got the main gate which is literally just a fence gate but eventually i plan on extending this road and of course the perimeter wall which encompasses the entire village and if we head up here there's kind of this road through this nature park area and um i quite like i like this place it looks so nice with the texture pack anyway um and then up to this area over here which leads past the b um park which i showed you earlier and then this is our nether portal now i probably won't go into the nether because i literally have done practically nothing in the nether it's just a few nether tunnels and then there's a nether fortress which i started to flatten out a bit to try and get more with the skeletons but that didn't work really very well really anyway so there's nothing in there but i'm going to plan i'm planning on doing a bunch of nether stuff when 1.16 comes out because i want to reset the nether but this is in fact a castle that i built i got mega inspired by fwip and those dudes and i built up this castle which was a mega uh, i'm starting to sound like a skull it was a big job but as you can see we've got this kind of inner courtyard with a tree which kind of is different from all the other custom trees but i still like it and then we've got ourselves another little blacksmith and then we've got this main tower right so ooh, the trap all textures connect that's nice um anyway in here we've kind of got like the barracks so a bunch of beards and some armor and then through here we've got this hall which i'm actually very happy with which is like the main feasting hall and then up here there's just a ladder to a little balcony with which you can overlook the feasting hall and then out here it kind of goes on to the outer wall and then if we go back through here we have got ourselves this door through to the tower uh, excuse me and this is kind of like the storeroom and then down here we have got ourselves the dungeon with our full diamond armor zombie and i was going to try and get a pillager over here a pacified pillager but i never got around to it and then up here there's another staircase if, um, i'm just getting distracted by the wood texture and this kind of leads up to this villager and i just realized the paintings look really weird so i'm going to take them down but i've got this villager and i believe this dude has got efficiency for yeah and of course glass too which is nice um and then up here we have got ourselves come on a, another villager which has um mending and mending you know just chilling with two mending books but these were basic basically the first villages i got and then up here we've just got the top room which this guy seems to want to go up to um excuse me sir oh for heaven's sake well it's not decorated anyway but that's basically the top of the tower and then um this just leads to the outer wall and oh my gosh there's so many little texture things that is kind of eating me but it's all right i like this texture pack i think it's got a lot of opportunity but yeah that that 
that custom tree was a rather big build. But anyway, enough of that. That's pretty much this village. So I'm I'm actually pretty happy with what we've accomplished here. It's like quite a big area. If you fly up, it might be like a couple, maybe a thousand. Oh, it'd be way more than a thousand blocks. But it's it's maybe. 200 by 200 or so I don't really know or 100 by 100 anyway a decent amount but heading over here you can see that it looks really beautiful looking back there but anyway I want to eventually do a big road that connects up from here and if we just sprint goes over this way and will eventually lead into what I plan to be the main part of this area so yeah we're going to do a lot of custom terrain over there but i'll talk about that more in episode 26 but this is a project we worked on really recently so this is basically our cave spider farm which i transformed and it's pretty nice in my opinion so you come down here we've got this big cave spider pixel art and over here you can see the spawner and a bunch of stalactites and stalagmites going up and you can actually turn this farm off and on again and we have got ourselves a beautiful bane of the arthropods for sword uh, five with you know lots of epic stuff so we can one hit to kill all the spiders which is beautiful oh and i guess i better show you what we've got from it so far so there's a decent amount of stuff you know it, it's enough string and spider eyes for me um i don't need like a thousand gazillion stacks of string or spider eye but yeah and i'm gonna try not to fly too much but heading over this way we have gonna have this road continuing on and eventually there's gonna be a custom bridge over here and you can see my industrial area loading in in the background but i actually terraformed this hill over here there used to be a big um sugarcane farm and my iron farm down here and a bunch of other stuff like a sheep farm and stuff but i've got rid of all of that now eventually i want to put a range of custom mountains here and that's going to be some of the mega terraforming but just I, I mean that farm looks kind of cool but I don't really like it and I want to put a big village over here town city thing so yeah and also up there you can see we've got our mob farm kind of just loading in but I'm eventually going to turn that into a big balloon now the textures here are a little weird because of the jungle wood but um maybe I'll rectify that at some point but here we've got like the big tree farm so oak dark oak spruce jungle wood acacia and um birch now all of these are pretty efficient except for the dark oak which doesn't drop enough saplings to be sustainable really but you, yeah um you can turn on and off water streams at the back which is pretty cool so you can flush all the items that drop down to the front which means you don't uh, you know it automatically picks it all up and then um it all gets collected in this chest and uh not the bone meal and bone blocks but anyway and then of course jungle and all that stuff and if you head up here then this is basically just a way that you can go down and you know how tall two by two block trees are annoying to chop down well this way you can just drop down to the chop top and chop them all the way down and it's kind of laggy up here but let's head uh, down and we've got a bunch of chests over here with stone and stuff in it and i'll show you where that all came from in a second but down here we've got a villager breeder which coincidentally is also a carrot farm and it isn't really breeding villages at the moment because I turned it off but we have got a lot of carrots from that so yeah I emptied this chest a few times too but heading down here we have got ourselves um, the villager breeder and down here 
we've got my massive trading hall. So I haven't got many of the villagers in here yet, but I got this row of librarians, mostly for glass, and you can see that we've got a decent amount of glass, and we've got a few other villagers, and I actually quite like how this place looks. I mean, obviously, by the time we get rid of all these rails and stuff, and we have got a zombie down here with a... If uh, you can't really see it, but it's got a pretty decent diamond sword to uh, destroy the villagers and zombify them. And then we've got weakness and golden apples and stuff. And basically I've been triple curing all of these dudes. So you can see paper trades is like really low and books, which is nice. Um, now if we head back up here, we... Uh, the, the sun setting, but I don't think that really matters. We have got a big room dug out down here, and this is going to be the automatic farms area. So we've already got an iron farm and a big slime farm, which we built in the last episode, which has got a lot of slime. And I said that I was going to explain why there was dark green stained glass as opposed to light green stained glass. And that is because the light green stained glass has got a crisscross texture pattern on it, which looked really weird. But anyway, we've got a ton of slime from that, like so much slime I could almost build a slime castle. But that is this big room, and this room over here is just another area I dug out with haste looking for diamonds. We actually didn't find that many diamonds over here. But I might continue to do that, or I might just strip mine to try and find those 1,000 diamond ore. But that is pretty much this area done, and I, of course, I'm going to get all the items um, shot up into a room down here somewhere, where they're going to all be sorted into chests, and we can have items galore. Now, there's three other farms that I need to show you, so we'll work over in this direction. This is the first farm, the uh, three-layered mob drop farm, which I am eventually going to decorate, um, but you kind of just go over the top here and knock these dudes out. I haven't actually used it that much recently because I've got another farm for XP, but we've got the zombie flesh, the Okay, that item sort is broken. Um, well, that's not great. Um, item sorters have been doing something strange. That item sort of the broke too. Um, but that's not that's not great. No. Um. Anyway, and a bunch of other stuff like uh, yeah, just it's. It's got a decent amount of stuff, although the item sorters are a little dodgy at the moment. But then, if we head down this way, we have got a project that still chills my blood to think about, and that is this, the Guardian Farm. The Guardian Farm that took me about half of a month, like two weeks to make. Oh my gosh, this was such a grind. It worst part was getting it and placing the ice, but it, it, I'm glad that I did, it's like amazing source of XP, and yeah, I kind of half decorated this, but I don't really know what kind of design I want to go for, so I think this farm should just stay undecorated, but as you can see, like XP for days, I course there is the disadvantage that it kind of gives you damage but never mind and then over here we've got a little enchanting setup and down here we've got another sorting system so with all the prismarine and then the prismarine shards and then the cod and then the the the, 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 the salmon and and all the other random stuff like a fish and the random ink that just suffocate on the side and last but not least, we need to fly way, way over there and take a look at our last farm, which if we 
just wait while we fly over there is a it was another fairly long project just because of the fact that I had to drain all the rivers um, so over here we have got ourselves a oh my gosh that tree still hasn't finished unloading we have still uh wait, what the no i'm losing my train of thought here we have got ourselves a squid and a very useless drowned farm but it is a very good squid farm so as you can see um we got we can get a ton of ink sacks and salmon from this which is beautiful and occasionally you get drowned coming down to here and uh you can then deal to them there's just some turtle eggs that kind of attract them. But as I said, it's a very inefficient drowned farm, so eventually I'm going to build one up in the sky. But yeah, that is pretty much what we have built. But anyway, guys, we are back to our beautiful village, and oh my gosh, it's so nice just walking through these streets with this texture pack on. But anyway, guys, that is going to end it off for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you are enjoying this world in general. And of course, if you do, leave it a like. I deeply appreciate it, and it would also tell me that you are enjoying this. But guys, a big shout out to all the people who have helped and inspired me. So there's, of course, effort for amazing like building inspiration and of course this texture pack there's germs boy for building inspiration there's a python who originally inspired me to start youtube and then there's a bunch of other people like mumbo grian grian sorry grian grian um exumavoid um Escal, and a bunch of other people who are really inspiring me at the moment so thank you to all of those guys and of course Nubika. Let's not forget Nubika. Nubika's great. You should totally check her out if you haven't already. She does amazing hardcore and stuff episodes and it's just she's got a great video making skill. But anyway guys, with all that being said, I hope you enjoyed this episode where we showcased our beautiful world and if you did Please be sure to subscribe if you're new and leave a like if you enjoyed. And I guess I will catch you all later in another episode.